When I got into the industry, it happened like way back in sixth grade. My brother was a gangbanger, unfortunately. I think, anyways, he never really confirmed it. But long story short, you know what comes with gangs, drugs. And so I grew up around it. And I never did it because my parents always looked at me as like their last hope. So I just, you know, played with it. I was smoking in Culver City with some buddies. And I was like, to one of my one of my friends, I was like, why don't you just grow your own stuff? Like literally, like why don't you just grow hydroponically your stuff a tent and we'll see. And he was like, because I, I don't have the money. And I was like, all right, well, fuck. I have like a couple thousands in savings because I worked throughout high school. And so we started to invest in equipment. That's kind of where everything started to pick up and that's where everything kind of went back. Because I got so money hungry because I was making so much money so fast with these packs because what, would ha what, was, what was happening was that I would get these packs from up north, packs are pounds of marijuana, and I would break them up on the streets because it, I would make more money breaking them up on the streets than I would selling them to shops because the bud wasn't like high quality bud. And distribution is where the money's at. And the reason why is because you have the other guy who's growing his stuff, who's super happy to grow his stuff. Um, and then you have people like me that are super happy to get that stuff to other people. And that's where the money's at. Usually you have these street dealers that are out on the street dealing to people. And then you have their suppliers. So the street dealers are usually the thugs that don't really care. They'll go out and they'll sell whatever money they make. They have to pay back their debt for the product that they got fronted. And then whatever money after, that's theirs. But what a lot of people do is they get their product fronted, and they sell it, and then they spend all the money. So they don't pay back me. And that's where I have to go in and say, yo, where the, where the fuck's the money at? And that's where, you know, problems arise. Since the money's not there, and it's not accounted for, uh, it never happened. Simple as that. I'm just, I'm in the hole. You know, I'm in the red. And ever since then, I've kind of been like in the dumps. As in trying to get back on my feet. But I'm getting there. Little bit.